Hi, I'm Remy from Pokemon. In this Pokemon tour, we'll go over the contextual menu content in Pokemon. The contextual menu can be shown by a double tap on an emulated device. You have to choose a space where there is no key defined, otherwise Pokemon will interpret this as a key press on the emulated computer or calculator. Generally, the display is a good area to pop up the contextual menu, except for the Casio PB1K because of its pouch LCD display. What a nice feature. In this menu, you will have access to several actions related to the emulated device. One of Pokemon's remarkable features is that you can rotate the computer to show other faces of the emulated device. Sometimes, the power switch or the reset all are located on the side or the back of the device. It's also useful for showing a connector. It is then possible to tap on it to automatically link peripheral devices. There is, or will be soon, a Pokemon 2 on this feature. In the display submenu, you can manage or share a screenshot of the device display by mail or SMS. The configuration option allows you to reset or overclock the emulated CPU. The link submenu is only available when another device with a compatible connector is currently emulated in the session and allows you to manually link it. The next two options are related to the documentation. In web links, you will find some useful handpicked websites with a lot of information on the emulated device. In documents, all the available user manuals are proposed. If you select a document, Pokemon will download it and store it locally for future usage. Finally, the close option closes the current device emulation. Bear in mind that the linked devices are not closed automatically. If you want to close them all, use the close session entry in the main menu. Enjoy Pokemon!